Hello, 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 and welcome to yet a new dawn on The Legend of Zelda. We are going to be getting the final two people happy in our book, which is Mama Cafe and uh, Grandma Cafe, or whatever their names are. Cafe. It will be. Yeah, Madame Aroma and. Andrew's grandmother. Oh, right, so we're actually related to the wrong grandma. I know that's definitely Cafe's mother. So, what we're going to be doing is, is we are going to be allowing for the game to play out a little bit. We'll go do some grabs and try and do some mini games whilst we wait for time to advance. We'll grab this key, get the letter, uh, agree to the secret meeting. Potentially. No, we need to do that. Then, once we've agreed to the secret meeting, we're going to go straight in to speak to her grandmother and get the story out of the way. This all away from it. Which, which slot that one? We've got two masks to go. They're the big ones, because then that gets the evening. Then on the night, as soon as it hits night time, we will be heading to the graveyard. We will be trying to get... Oh, shit. Uh, that went very wrong. Yeah, we're heading to the graveyard to get the first grave done, which I think gets us the song to allow us to go and restore the water to the canyon. It's just a thought at the moment, because it's the only thing over that side we haven't actually done yet. Yeah, I hadn't actually intended to jump onto those, but okay, that works. Of course, I want to get this, because this is what? Is this 50 or is this 100 rupees? It's 100. Cool. So that gives us the ability to play this game for a little bit whilst we wait for the time to advance. As we all know, I am terrible with a bow and arrow. So we're probably going to fail this every single time because I'm terrible. Luckily, because it's not using the stick and it's using a b-boy, we don't run into the problem where the arrows randomly release themselves. The problem we've got with this game as well is it needs to be a perfect run. And we'll say, I'm terrible with bow and arrow, I can't aim to save my life. And I often release the arrows too early, which also doesn't help. Because I don't know where they're actually going to spawn from. I usually don't hit them in time. Shit, we missed one. So, yeah, we can't get a perfect run. We ain't going to get the half piece. But we can use this as a practice. Try and get them all. See, there's not enough time to get all that. Pretty sure all we have to do is get 50 points. So if we somehow cheese it and get 50 points without getting a perfect score. What, seven? That's surprise, surprise, my mystery. So, yep, we have to get a perfect score. I honestly don't think I can do it. My eight cents of aim is just not good enough. I'm not quick enough. Then you get moments like that where I just fire the arrow just a second too soon. Shit. Well, we ain't getting perfect score now. I got the order wrong in my head. Ooh, that was just in time. See, this is the one that catches me out when there's five. Oh, fuck. Oh.
Ah, I'm terrible at arrows. Well, give it another go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to do this. I wonder if there's like a hood or something where that slow the time down just a little bit. I mean, there's bound to be some kind of trick. Rather than just get good. I mean, there's always a trick to these games. I mean, like... Like with the Postman one where... All you have to do is wear a certain hat and it gave you the ability to do it. Oh shit, it's two in a row. We've hit everyone so far, as far as I'm aware. This one less. Yep, this is one. Is this four in a row? It's four. Oh, this is five. We got all five! We're on our way to get a perfect run. We did it! We actually did it! Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe it just takes practice then. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. That's another heart piece down. Ah, oh, I'm glad that's done. My game does not crash on me. <laughs> if it does and I have to lose that heart, I will be gravely, gravely disappointed. Right, what time is it? Uh, not quite soon enough yet. Why I also read somewhere. If you go talk to him, that's wearing this mask. He gives you a quest to get a special type of milk for him. Where did he go? Right there. Maybe you have to talk to one who's in a certain point or a certain place. Because I'm pretty sure there's a quest to get milk for him. Nope, she's still not here yet. Which is annoying. So the problem I've got with these time-based games is you're consistently waiting on something. But what we can go do then, once we wait for time to escalate like an extra hour, we can go get some arrows, and we can go slay the... Uh, what do we call it? Oh, no, I want that on. We can go slay those dragon things. Don't think these drop arrows. Rupees only. It's a lot of rupees, though. Seriously, we have this conversation every frigging day. Go away. Go some arrows. We'll go kill these dragon things. That'll get us what, another 150. 150 coins. That would be useful. We'll get some arrows. Uh, try to think. Is there anywhere else we can go where we can get some quick cash? This thing, go away, please. Thank you. And the quest for arrows, not the quest for getting hit in the face. We got zero arrows. Great. Well, that could have gone better, I guess. I don't really want to buy the arrows. This slot here doesn't get you any arrows, but it does get you a red rupee if you get them all. Which we can do. It's a little bit slower than killing the wizards, but better than nothing. Is it time yet? Uh, oh, crap. We have to hurry. 
because if we don't, then the actual guy who wants the key rocks up and makes it just a little bit more annoying to get into the place. It also means we miss out on the rupees in that room. You're in the door. Because that was probably him. Off. Now we've got to put on the cafe mask. Start this quest. Yep, I agree. I'll meet you at that time. Cool. Nice. Let's go get my rupees. Get out of the way, woman. Nice. 100 rupees. Do that enough times eventually we will get the uh, 5,000 rupees. Right, all night mask on. Cool, now we get story time. Oh, projects. Yeah. morning. No. We'll do the cannibal time today. The cannibal time is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. A little long, but I'll read it. With some enthusiasm at him. The cannibal time each year, the season of harmony begins with the sun and the moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tireless in the process of progress. The cannibal time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. See, we can actually stay awake for it now. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it is becoming a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask of the cannibal time. It is said that if a couple unite on the day of the festival and dedicate a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the cannibal is the clock tower. On the eve of all the festival, the doors on its roof are opened. From atop of the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of the festival of the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. This pillow I'm sat on is not very nice. It's so we go. You did a good job. Now, when does the clock go? Uh, uh, on the eve of the festival. You did a great job remembering this. I'll give you skin this prize. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Cool, that's one down. There is still one more to go. We have to do the other story. Uh, we still agree to this. We can't skip till the next morning though. I don't think we can do that on any of this. Actually, we can do it there. When is Granny? Yes. She does all day up to midday. So tomorrow we have to go. Ugh. We'd have to slow time down. Go get the pendant. Run back, give it to her, and then hopefully, just hopefully, make it just in time. If not, we can always give her the pendant then. We, well, technically, we don't even need to give her the pendant. All we need to do is get the letter. But as long as we can make it to Cafe just in time. Ugh. It's just gone midday, so we now need to wait until midnight. So guys, I'll make a slight cut here, and we shall jump back in as soon as she is in the kitchen. Okay, and she's just arrived back in the kitchen, so we can talk to her. Yep, yep, we agree. We'll deliver the letter. Cool. Sweet. Cheers. Okay. 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 Yeah, I didn't mean to click no. I don't see why she can't just put it in the mailbox, but okay.
So that's that dealt with. Let's get this in the posty box. Then the next thing we need to do is we actually need to wait till the very next day again. I mean, we can skip forward to the morning, that's great. But we have to go see Cafe as soon as physically possible. Cafe Pee. If we don't, then we ain't gonna make it back in time to get into the story. And I wanna try and get both of them done on this run. So, next up what we're gonna do is we are going to skip forward in time. There's nothing for us to do. <gasps> Shit! No, 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 Oh, that side of me is really, really dark. I mean, admittedly, I've got a really bright light. I guess it's just the contrast. It's seen this really, really bright in there. It can't compensate. Right, let's get to the graveyard. We need to go get that stone. To the canyon. I'm just doing that. I'm going to tick some things off on my list. Uh, the DQ playground, done. Into the shooting galleries, get a perfect score, done. Two more ticked off. Nope, it's click on the game for it to continue. Why is it always night time? Oh, because we're always trying to get into the graveyard and do things. That's why it's always night time when we come here. I'm just trying to think, what are the last two masks going to be? I mean, the, the mother might give us one. I don't know what the last one would be. I'm guessing the last one gives us the ability to talk to mummies? Or do we have to use... I know you get a mirror shield. Do we have to use the mirror shield on mummies? So then what would be the last mask? Cheers, mate. See, they're on the last one now. Open the grave. I mean, there's three points down here, and that last grave that we had until the last night didn't take us to the third point down here. Six. We've been to that point. Oh uh, no, there's only two points. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. Fuck's sake. Phantom Jinx and can't use my fucking sword. I've got to fight anything. I'm screwed. Arrows, nice. Oh, wouldn't you know it, there's bats. And there's a bloody lot of them. You know, I think it'd be good for this. Well, for one, it looks like I'm going to have to like these two points, but... I'm going to take down bats. I'm not putting this on. I was actually going to throw the discs at them, but this is working just as well. In that case, I probably wouldn't better off with the deep with the spin. We're getting there.
So that was originally what I wanted to do, because then I would have hit loads of them as it went up and down. Sweet, got them all. Cool, get a chest for it. What's in the chest? Oh, 50 rupees, nice. Clearly, the next thing we have to do is light these things. Cool, nice and easy. I'm guessing these jars give me more arrows. Or magic. No. No, nothing. Oh god, we sealed in. Oh, that's one of these guys again. Do we have any bombs? We have ten bombs. Chip missed. Too close. Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, we make that work. Shit. We made the last one work, though, did we? Jesus, how is he still standing? Now we've got to do all the shenanigans with hitting him and such. How do you do this again? I haven't got a lock on him yet. Give me a chance to fucking do something. There we go. And this is where we learn the songs. It's a giant stage. Are you the one who freed my soul? Yeah. I served the Ikran Royal Family. I am the composer named Flat. The song connected to the Royal Family that remains here were all composed by my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. The storms that strike the earth is my anger. I have made my best. Cool. Okay. The strength of the earth is my anger. Yeah, you've just said that. Here is written the song that shall cleanse the cursed black soul. <laughs> God, <it is. laughs> Of course it would be that song. <laughs> I love that song, that sounds great. <laughs> it's probably one of the most catchy songs in the game. Cool. It now means we can actually go and do the, the thing. We can now go do the well. Some arrows. 
just like to stock up on a few arrows. It gives us the opportunity then to go do that ghost thing again. Because I reckon if we had arrows and we stayed as far away from the ghost as possible, we could do them. Well, that's that stage then. Uh, we are going to now make another small cut. We will come in just before uh, Kenju takes letter so we can rinse that building and we'll be back as soon as we get there. Okay guys, I think it may have just bugged a little bit there. Uh, the bell rang, nobody was outside. Yeah, we can come up here and talk to Cafe now. Yes, we'd like to talk to you, blah, 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 blah. We'd like to get this over with quickly. Trust me. Yep, we just... Okay, 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 okay. Got the clock stopped in this conversation. Yes, we pity him, blah, 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 blah. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Give him a pendant. Cool. Right, now we need to immediately slow time down. <laughs> oh, we're not going to make it back in time. Yes, we'd like to slow down time. We need to get our bunny ears on and we need to run back to Grandma as quickly as possible. Ooh, my bunny ears aren't even on. Okay, I think she goes away at six, so we've got till six. And then we can do the story till morning and give her the pendant. We do the Song of Time to forward us to the evening. That will allow for us to then go get the letter, hand it over to the mama, and we is done. That is everyone happy? I think. Yes. We'll technically hand over the pendant right now. As we're passing through. It's not going to slow me down any further. Let's write it. Get that ready. Ah, yep, we've seen Cafe. You've got your pendant now. I've got the night mask on. Ah, oh, we made it. Oh, I thought it Did you finish helping by that? Yes, I would like you to read The Four Giants to me. Is it? It's quite a long, but it's a good story for you to hear. So I'll read it with some extra gusto. The Four Giants. This tale from long ago when all the people weren't separated from all worlds, like they are now. In those times, all people lived together, and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the Giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people whilst we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as the mountain blizzard has trapped us. Or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Huh, <laughs> you're naked. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across four worlds repeatedly. He wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants, who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cries and responded with a roar, O oh, Imp, O oh, Imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain, O oh, Imp. Leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and sad. Oh, I uh, missed last line. The imp returned to the heavens and the harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced and they worshipped the giants and the four worlds like gods. And they lived happily ever after. I feel sorry for the school kid. Good job, why don't you fun to us? What did the people do to call this? They sing a song. That's right. We couldn't just sing that song anywhere. Wonder if that's not blah blah blah. The spot at which those giants parted is right in the middle of this very town. 
Did I do something wrong? I didn't get... I didn't get the second prize! What the hell?! I feel cheated now! Let's look at what it is I've done wrong there, though. I'm sure all I did was listen to both the stories. Uh. Oh, I can't take Link seriously whilst I've got the mask on. I should look at my list. She's near the top of my list at the minute. Of stories, that, the things that need to happen. Hmm. Oh, did I just close the song by mistake? Oh, I have to say, I don't know. <sighs> so, we're going to have to deal with the grandma again. I guess. Right, so we should now be just in time for us to get... Yes. Right, let's head back, get the letter, go give it to the mother, that's that done. We will then go back in time, get to the grandmother, hear her story, tell her we don't know, and then go back in time again to her back on day one. Oh, we just need to deposit our 346 uh, rupees. Wait, is it day two that you have, night two you have to come in here? Yeah, we, we've come too late. There's some rupees that go down that river. I nice. equaling 60. Yeah, we don't need to do it. We've already done it. So I get you the couple's mask. I'm slightly annoyed by that. The fact that we have to answer, I don't know to get that. How was I supposed to know that? I gave her the answer. We have to sing a song. That's the answer. Wait, was it 50 rupees you get from the top of that? Or was it 20? It was 20. Uh, where is the mother? The mother is in the milk bar, I think. Yes. Cool. Deliver our express mail. Oh, right, she doesn't recognize me because I'm not doing the cafe thing. Oh dear, you're the one searching for cafe. How is it? Have you found him? Well, that's a few more them. Priority mail. Cafe, correct, correct. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. My thanks. Yes, yes, it's your job after all. Uh, you got a bottle of Chateau Rame. Drink it to replenish your oh. The drinking will boost your magic stamina, swirling it around for your tummy. <laughs> Great. Well, you gave me a glass bottle, so I ain't gonna complain. Drink it with uh, its lasting stamina. Is it, is it like a permanent boost or something? Might as well drink it, because... Like I can't do it. I guess we could always use something like that to... take on the school kid. That was there anything else I needed to do tonight? I don't think... Oh, deposit our rupees. Deposit them, and then we go back in time, do the grandma story, then go back to again. Then all we need to do is focus on some little bits. Uh, there's things like the the Swamp Gallery game. We still got to do that one. So I'm going to struggle up because once again I hate the bow and arrow in this game. 
deposit to you. Uh, six, four, three. Yes. What's this? What did you give me? It's a blue rupee. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess now I'm going to have to deposit. Another five rupees. Yes. Cool. Right. Let's go do the grandma story. Once again. And then we'll go back to time. Admittedly, whilst we're doing the grandma story, I'm actually going to... What time is it you have to go grab the key? So I can get the 100 rupees from the roof, again, and I can try and get those 100 rupees from the... that room. 200 extra rupees. It says that we need 5,000 of the bloody things. I think it's 5,000. Or is it 10,000? So it's 5,000. What time is Granny available? I don't think she's available first thing. She is not. We have to wait a little bit. So we can go get those rupees, and I can't do that till. Let's see. Well, we can go get the top rupees at least. Then we'll wait out for Granny. Oh no, I see he's taking the magic off me now. It's a shame. Admittedly, we've, we've got near enough every heart piece that I know of. Every heart piece that was on my list. We've not maxed our hearts out yet. There's only a handful left. Really, the biggest ones is that you can't get full hearts until you go to the moon. The moon has the last four. Yep, 100 rupees. Nice. Stop button, not open till eight. The break in. Breaking in. Cool. See if Granny is down the earth right now. Maybe it was only giving me that time frame because I can't get in here. There she's here. Whether she's awake or not is another story. Right, four giants. Okay, we'll just skip through this now because we already know. Have to slow it down now because I don't want to accidentally answer her question. Uh, I don't know. You listen hard, some of the happy. Perhaps some candy. There we go, we've got the hat piece. Nice. And that is Granny now happy. I believe, I believe that's everyone. Yep, all medals. Sweet, everyone's done. <laughs> <laughs> We're still missing two masks. <laughs> I don't know where these last two masks <laughs> Oh, God. What time is it? Oh, it's too late for us to get the key. So we can't get into that room. Alright, so we'll go deposit these rupees and we'll go back in time and then starting the new day, we will go out and we will explore some things and go get some more of the hearts. What I'm thinking is this next is I'm going to go do... Go back to the swamp. We'll go beat the frogs. Wait, oh, we need to beat all the bosses to do that, don't we? What do we? No, we need to go beat the mountain first. And then go be do all the frogs. Yeah. Why have I gone this way? So that's going to be our, our uh, adventure in the next episode. We're going to go back to the mountain. We're going to go beat the boss there again. Then go through and get all the frogs and summon them all back here. And that should take up the whole episode, I think. 
It's going to be a long one. Posit rupees. Uh, Alright, so deposit. How many have we got? We've got 101. Yes. Near 1500. Cool. So, that's all that. Just the look on Luke's, uh, Link's face right now. Oof. Freaky. <laughs> he looks glitched. <laughs> anyway, guys, so that's all for tonight, uh, for today. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!